So the other day I was late to work because I was in a juice press that a guy came into and attempted to rob. It was just me and the employee and there was only one entrance and exit and he kind of blocked it. There aren't a lot of windows. So it was a situation that definitely could have been a lot worse than it was. We both are fine. And the moral of that story though was I had a lot of people on Instagram share like even more horrifying experiences that they've had recently in New York. So here are some safety tips that I'm sharing with you, especially girls, we seem to be really big targets um, and things just to like be cautious about when out and about in the city. I'm from Chicago, which is super unsafe. So these are just things we've like always been aware of since I was younger. Number one, if it's dark out, walk in the middle of the street if it's a street that doesn't get a lot of car traffic because that way no one can like pop out from a doorway, an alley, anything like that. Um, you'll be able to see them coming. Also, if someone's following you, if they also walk into the middle of the street, obviously that's not common behavior. You'll know that they're like following what you're doing. Also, depending on the street, you live on the street lights shine like onto the street, not onto the sidewalk. So safer from that perspective too. I used to do this all the time when I lived in Hell's Kitchen. My block was super sketchy and people would do weird things in doorways, but the middle of the street was safe. Secondly, never get on an empty subway car. If you see the subway car you're about to get onto is empty, run to the one next to it. People go between subway cars like nobody's business. You don't want someone to walk onto yours and you're the only one on it and all of a sudden your subway is like stuck underground. And then continuing on with subway stuff, if it's like a decently busy car, try to sit in between people. That way if someone's like walking around kind of harassing people on the subway car, um, you have people on either side of you and they can't like sit down next to you. And then if someone's harassing you, a lot of times they just want a reaction out of you. Um, so if you just kind of shut it down, that kind of helps the situation end. So if they're asking you for money, um, obviously sometimes it's better to like ignore it, but you can acknowledge it and just say like, I don't have cash on me. That lets them know that there's like no solution to this exchange and you've acknowledged them, you've given them attention and like acknowledged that they're a person in front of you asking for something and that you're not able to help them. I'm sure people are gonna disagree with me in the comments, but truly a lot of times what people are looking for is just like that human interaction and they just want a response that shows that like you're acknowledging that they're a person um, and they're fine with you like not being able to help them, but they just get more upset if you don't acknowledge that it's like a person in front of you trying to talk to you. From an Uber and Lyft standpoint, obviously, always, always, always make sure that it is your car and that they're there to pick up you. Ask them who they're picking up. Uber then also lets you set a pin and you can get into the car and they have to put in like a four digit pin before they're even able to start the ride. And then just always share your location with someone and check to make sure your friends get home. Share tips in the comments.